kills the Shawnee bear. He is ahead of us. like a bear. <laughs> Daniel, you're still the champion. You're still the king grizzly of them all. And you're going to wear me out proving it every time we meet. <laughs> uh, where are you headed for, Daniel? Salem. What about you? Bloomsboro. You know, I got me there the biggest grizzly skin you ever seen. Going to pay off Grover Hanks what I owe him with it, and then back to the woods like a shot. Can't stand these walled up towns. Man's gotta have room to breathe. Well, that's a fine looking hide. Green River country? Yeah. You know them grizzlies back there still scared of Big Zack? <laughs> I know that's Shawnee country. As I recall, you killed a Shawnee last spring while you was guiding that Stubbs party into Boonesboro. And maybe it wasn't such a good idea to go back into that country. Well, uh. You know me, Daniel. I'm a hunter of bears. And when I hunt them there grizzlies, I act like one of them myself. <laughs> Why, them bears wasn't even a mite suspicious of me. They just look at me and they say, now ain't he a real handsome old bear? <laughs> you know, if uh, I can fool them grizzlies, I ain't scared of no Shawnees. Why, them engines didn't even always around me. Or will you? Well, you see, I... You can put it right back against the wall where you got it. I don't see why you won't let me go fishing. What was the very last thing your father said to you before he left? Not to go near the river unless someone else is with you. Well? Well, I wasn't going to go close to it. Just close enough to drop the hook in the water. Well, I don't think that's exactly what your father meant. Do you? I never asked him. Well, you'll just have to take my word for it, won't you? Yes, ma'am. Mother, you wouldn't like to go fishing with me, would you? Not today, honey. 
Well, Mrs. Seitz is ill, and I promised to drop in on her. Maybe tomorrow. Will that be all right? I suppose so. But what will I do until then? Now, it seems to me that you've spent years finding some way to entertain yourself. That's when I was little. Now that I'm growing up, it's harder to find things to do. That always has been one of the problems of old age. Maybe I could go hunting. Pa didn't say nothing about that, did he? Can I, Ma? I suppose so. If you don't go too far and if you're home by supper time. Gee, thanks, Ma! is real boon, huh? I reckon you've heard of me. I'm famous in these here woods. I'm the second best engine fire. I'm a dead shot. I'm a... Hey, stop Israel! It's me, Big Zack! Hey, Israel! to get this time, Israel. <laughs> Choctaws, Shawnees, Creeks, or just plain little old mosquitoes. Where did you come from, Zach? Where are you going? Whoa, boy, whoa, whoa, whoa. I haven't seen you for months. Why are you coming at me like a bolt of lightning? Now, uh, about your pa. He's gone to Salem. Yeah, I know, Dad. I met him in the woods. He done give me a message for you. Oh? Don't get in no trouble. Don't go hunting no make-believe engines. <laughs> well, it... Cub sure has growed. Left in a itty bitty thing, and now look at him near onto a man. Oh, feel that muscle. You're gonna be a great wrestler, just like your pa. You know, ten days after your christening, I saw you squirming there in your ma's arms, and I said that there cub's gonna have the strongest headlock on the whole frontier. Can you take me hunting this time, Zach? For Christmas, like you promised? Well, yeah, but you know the bear I'm thinking of, well, he ain't quite grown up to size yet. You know, them little things, they gotta take a little time to grow. Come on, boy, climb up there. Come on, up you go. That's it. That there's a bear skin up there, grizzly bear skin. Gonna take it over to Grover Hank, and then I'm gonna go pay my respects to your ma. How's it feel, boy, to be riding the biggest grizzly of them all? Great. All right, boy, let's go. That's high, mister. That's real high. Well, that's my price, Mr. Stubbs. I know, but five dollars for a barrel of flour. That's squeezing a man. That's gouging him. Now, look here, Mr. Stubbs. I don't gouge nobody. Barrels of flour cost me money, too, you know. Yeah, but my money don't grow on trees. How am I going to live through the winter? Everything's so darn expensive here. I was a blasted fool for coming out in the first place. I think I'll pack up and get out. Oh, calm down, calm down. You need credit, I'll give you credit. Ah, uh, that don't make no difference. I still feel like I'm being robbed blind. Now, you see here, Mr. Stubbs. I charge fair. I don't steal nobody's money. No? <laughs> well, it sure looks like you got your eyes on mine. <laughs> Grover Hanks, you old horse. <laughs> Zach, the wild man from out of the woods. Big Zach. Well, now, but ain't Mr. Stubbs. Now, you look here. If you come down here to Boonesboro looking for the money I owe you, I ain't got it. You'll have to wait. I'm paying too much for supplies right now, so don't you press me, too. Still fussing like a little bandy rooster. Simmer down, old cock a doo doo I ain't come for no money. Now, just a minute. What are you trying to do, bust my watch? Well, I, I guess it's all right. But there's one thing sure. I ain't got no time for fools. <laughs> I never did see a man argue so much. Boils up like a tin kettle. Same thing happened last spring when I was guiding him down here, and that Shawnee showed up. Well, Stubbs made him so mad that the engine went after him, and I had to kill him. One of these days, Mr. Stubbs is going to rile himself right into his own grave. Come here, I want to show you something. Robert, you see that there bearskin? Grizzly. The biggest, the primest, the best you ever seen. Now, I figure that, uh, well, it ought to pay off what I owe you, see, and give me a fresh start. What I need is uh, powder, shot, flour... Jehoshaphat, that letter. Huh? 
A letter came for you maybe two months ago. By express wagons. And it's just been laying around here something. Oh, here it is. It's just been laying around here collecting dust. It's from Lancaster. I've been holding for you to show up. Well, ain't you gonna open it? I gotta go pay my respects to Mrs. Boone. Uh, Grover, you figure me out. Uh, I'll be back later. Come on, Ezra, let's get going, boy. I thought we were gonna see our mom. Oh, pretty soon, Ezra, pretty soon. Gotta take care of this thing first. Come on, boy, sit down. You know, Israel, when it comes to hunting, grizzly bears, wilderness, I understand all them things real good. But I don't understand anything so mysterious as reading and writing. Well, of course, I got my pride, too. I didn't want them boys back at Grover's to know I can't read a line. I, uh, gotta get me a friend to read me these here words. You, uh, you and me have been friends for a real long time, ain't we, Israel? Sure we have. Well, then, uh, you uh, tell me what this is. It's from your sister in Lancaster. <laughs> uh, go ahead, read it. Dear Brother Zachariah, you never met my husband, but he was a good man. And two weeks ago, he died. And all he left me and the children was a few dollars that won't last. Zach, I need money bad. Don't know how we're going to live and keep a roof over our heads. Please, Zach, please, if you got cash, send us what you can spare. And for heaven's sakes, send it right away. Your loving sister, Sarah. I never knew you had kin, Zach. The only kin I got in the whole wide world. Why, she raised me at the time I was no more than your size. Now, that grizzly bear skin, it won't do much more than pay off Grover Hank at all. Oh, cock a doo doo doo. Israel, which way is Stubbs, Captain? That's when outside the fort. About a mile from here. Boy, you go get me some writing paper, cut me a quill, and meet me back here by the river in an hour. You hear? You're going to write me an answer. First. I'm going to go see Mr. Stubbs. Israel, what on earth are you doing now? Just getting some things I need. Well, I thought you were out in the woods hunting. I was, but I got something more important to do. If I'm not being too curious, would you mind telling me what you intend doing with the pen and paper? I'm going to write a real important letter. Oh, is that so? Yes, ma'am. Well, if you'd like to tell me about it, maybe I could help you with it. I'd like to, Mom, but I can't. Why? Because I gave my word. Paul always says a man shouldn't go back on his word. Your father's absolutely right. Guess I shouldn't be so curious. It's not that I mind, Ma. It's just that I got this friend. Oh? And he's just got to get this letter wrote. Except he doesn't know how to write. I see. Only he's got his pride. And he don't want no one to know he didn't go to school. So he asked me to write it for him if I didn't tell who he was. I think I understand, son. That's all right, ain't it? Of course it is. And you ain't mad at me? On the contrary, I'm proud of you. Very proud. But you better hurry along now. You don't want to keep your friend waiting. Israel? Be careful, Israel, and don't spill that ink. And hurry home. I'll have supper ready for you.
killer of bears. I have seen him. He goes that way, toward a cabin. Soon, soon there will be vengeance for the death of my brother. I guided you all the way down from Virginia. I saved your life. I even killed a wild Shawnee for you. Fifty dollars. I need it real bad and stubs you. Owe me fifty dollars. But we had an agreement that I pay you in the spring. What little money I've got now, I want to keep to lend. I knew as soon as you walked in that store, you were going to ask me for money. I need cash. That doesn't make any difference. I need it too. And I can't wait till next spring. Uh, look, you've been living in those woods so long, you don't know what you're doing anyway. You're beginning to think like a savage. Are you going to give me my money? <laughs> an agreement's an agreement. But that money's mine. I never said it wasn't, but I've got to live through the winter. You don't give me that money. I take that money. Uh, what are you got to do now? I'm only looking for my money. But that's stealing, man. That's stealing. Oh, always arguing, always arguing. Only tell me what's mine. You have to ransack my house this way. You have to. You have to. Will right you please get me. out of my way? Dollars, old cockadoodle doo. That's all I'm taking. Just what's mine. Pennsylvania. Mrs. Sarah Haspel. Uh, that's right, Haspel. Court Lane, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We done it, boy. We sure did. First, going to take this letter over to Grover and this here gold for sending. Yeah, sure is a wonder. Talking to your kinfolk with just this crowfoot scratchings on a piece of paper. <laughs> when I want to talk to a grizzly bear, I just growl. You know something, Israel? Some of these days there ain't going to be no more bears, no more wilderness, just towns and villages everywhere. And this here's going to be the only way people can talk to far off folk. A crowfoot scratchings on a piece of paper. Something's going to be lost that way. That's kind of sad. Well, come on, boy. First over to Grover's and then to your ma, so I can sure dig into some of that home cooked vittles. <laughs> He's been a killing. What? Stubbs. Henry Stubbs. He, he's dead. He's lying there in front of his cabin. Blood all around. I never see such a killing. Like, like done by somebody wild and savage. <laughs> Stubbs. You said Stubbs? Man, you're lying. Well, I ain't lying. I seen him. He, he's dead. Let me go. I got to tell him in Boonesboro. You. You went to see Mr. Stubbs. Israel. And and I wrote your your letter for you. Listen, boy. You killed him. You killed Mr. Stubbs. You killed Mr. Stubbs! Israel! Israel! I didn't kill Mr. Stubbs. You went there. You said you did. Well, sure, I went there, but only to get what was mine, that's all. Let me go. Israel. Sure. I hit him. But it was no killing, Bo. It was a shove. Yeah, more like a shove. I gotta get home. I gotta tell. But, Israel, I wouldn't lie to you. You took his money, and you said you hit him. Listen, will you stop fighting me, boy? I don't want to hurt you. Listen. I gotta tell the settlers. I gotta. But Israel, we're friends. My pa taught me when something's wrong to tell him or to tell my ma. And besides, we ain't friends no more. You killed Mr. Stubbs. Israel! 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 
Israel! Shawnees are all around us. Come on, we've got to run, boy. What happened? Who has done this? The killer of the Shawnee bear and the young cub. They cannot be far. With a young one, they cannot go far nor fast. Come quickly. They keep cutting us off. We can't double back. Hurry up, boy. You want I should carry you? No, I can run. Run. my breath, boy. We aren't had us a close shave. We escaped it? We gotta keep on. Except you don't want to, huh? That is, not with me. I don't want to go home. Uh, I forgot. You got your real man-sized sense of duty. You told me that. Your pa, I taught you. Something goes wrong. Turn back, report it. For a little shave, you sure carry lots of burdens. I'm glad you saved me from those Indians. I appreciate that. But you still figure I killed Mr. Stubbs, eh? And you think maybe I'm holding on you to protect myself, right? All right, Israel. You want to go home? Go on. Which way? Bone borrows back that way. But them Shawnees. They're still back of us, still cutting us off from the fort. How much you know about Shawnees, Israel? Yeah, of course you do. After all, you're Daniel Boone's boy. Shawnees is the greatest trackers in the world. You know that. They taught you Pa all he knows, all their tricks. And you know too, Israel, Shawnees is wild. Even wilder than Big Zack. Looks like you're kind of caught betwixt the devil and the deep blue sea, boy. You ain't got much choice. It's either them Shawnees or Big Zack. Boy, you stay with Zack. You stay with the old grizzly. And keep on. We gotta keep on. We gotta run. We gotta run like the grizzly bear and his cub. I ain't your cub. <sighs> Maybe not. But Zack, he takes care of anything. Till they grow to size. Man or beast. I know you're tired, boy. So climb up my back. Sack will tear you. Did you kill him, Zach? 
Mr. Stubbs, did you? Ain't no sense answering that, boy. Not if you don't trust me. <sighs> Come on. It ain't so far from the ground up to my back. Yeah, now we're getting someplace. You're bleeding. You got wounded. Oh, that's just a scratch, boy. You can't hurt us grizzlies. Now hold tight. We gotta get moving. Nothing from the prints outside. They're all messed up. We'll find out who done this, Mrs. Stubbs. We'll find out. I don't care who done it. It won't bring my man back. I was just out for a moment visiting with a neighbor. I promise you, Mrs. Stubbs. Something's been wrong, but I can't tell what. But his watch and chain's gone. Did you have any money in the cabin, Mrs. Stubbs? Was there any money in the cabin, Mrs. Stubbs? Yes, in that cupboard, in the little chest, in the leather bag. One hundred dollars in gold. See if you can find it. Hey, Tupper, John. I found these under the bed. Bear claws. Like Big Zack wore. Well, here it is. Don't feel like no hundred and gold. Got it. 10, 20, 30, 40. That's it, fifty dollars. There was a hundred. That means fifty's missing. Wasn't that what Mr. Stubbs owed Zach for guiding him here? I don't like what any of this means. Blood. The bear is wounded. He leaves the trail. Come. Boy, come on. Because I can't do no reading or writing. I gotta take care of that. I gotta take. Oh! Zach? Zach? I'm just about as weak as a newborn cub. Big thing sure got cut down to size. I'll get some help, Zach. Oh! Israel, I want you to listen to me, boy. Listen real good. Them Shawnees back there, they're after me. I killed one of them last spring. Ah, oh, it was a fair fight, but that don't make no difference. They're still after me. Israel, remember, I told you I was going to teach you about the grizzlies? Well, now's the time to teach you. Grizzlies is smart critters. They just don't eat plants and seeds and honey and insects. They, they hunt big game like deer and elk and cattle. They stalk them, boy. They stalk them through high grass. That's what you gotta do, Israel. You gotta get yourself some high grass. Slow and silent. Now. Do it now, boy. Do it now and you'll get away. Zach.
back? to get Big Zack. That's all we could get. Well, you need boom. That Zack, he can be a wild one. It takes only one man to get a bear. We got four. Yeah. Grover? Grover! Have you seen Israel? I can't find him anywhere. What is it? Is something wrong? You can't find Israel? No. He was with Big Zack. What is it? What about Zach and Israel? Tell me what's wrong. Tucker, I found them. Two pair of prints, it's like a man and boys. Israel and Zach, heading that way, deeper into them woods. Tucker, look at this. A mess of prints. Yeah, but one day old. Indians? I don't know. They're all bunched together. Oh, I wish Boone was here. It must be Zack and the boy. We ain't seen no Indian signs before. Come on. good for not doing as you're told. Why'd you stay? My pa told me to, to help people, no matter what. No matter if you even think they're killers, huh? The bleeding stopped. Grizzlies are funny things. It's only the cubs that can climb trees. Do you know that, Israel? Only the cubs? That's a fact. Once the grizzly gets grown up, he loses his power to climb. Israel, if them Shawnees ever do show up here, I want you to do like the grizzly cub does. I want you to shinny up one of them trees and get lost, you hear me? <whistles> Mockingbirds sing at night. But that sure ain't no mocker. Huh. It is true, then. You are wounded. It's the only way you could have caught me. In the spring, you killed Otawala. It was in a fair fight. You attacked the fellow I was guiding. That is nothing to me. Otawala, he was our chief. He was leader of the Shawnee Bear Clan. And now I am the leader. I am chief. And it is my task to punish you. This is your cub? He didn't have nothing to do with the fight. He don't even belong here. Bear and cub both. It is good. You shall punish both of them. He's only a boy. Let him go. You took the spirit of Otawala in the spring. You took his strength. And now his spirit wanders. 
It cries out. It is homeless. And Otawala does not rest where he lies. We will give Otawala back his spirit and his strength. We will give him back more than he has lost. We will give him the bear and the cub, both. Then his spirit will rest. The moon will be full. Then we will begin the sacrifice for the spirit of Otawala. First there will be the bear dance, and then the offering. And then I, I running fox, will kill you. That belonged to Mr. Stubbs. What? The chain, the watch chain. You, you little devil. You did it, you did it. A little warrior, a little wind, a little storm. You killed Mr. Stubbs, you killed Mr. Stubbs. The man of the chain. Mr. Stubbs. Ah, uh, yeah, a little fire. He surprised us while we hunted for him. You have a brave cub. I ain't his cub. I'm Daniel Boone's. Daniel Boone's cub? Is he Daniel Boone's cub? Daniel Boone's cub. This will bring a great shawnee honor. You will live in my lodge and I will raise you. You will grow up into a great shawnee warrior. Sit now. Tomorrow you will come with me. Come. I'm sorry, Zach. Apologizing? Mr. Stubbs? I sure appreciate that, boy. Makes me feel a whole lot better. You and me are still friends. Israel, you know that chief was right. You was a real wind, a regular storm. They're dancing. Now the real party's about to begin. Oh, that's your bad arm. Yeah. I'm just testing, boy. I got me a feeling I'm gonna have to use it pretty soon. Oh, great moon mother of us all. Tell him. Call him. Call the spirit of Otawala, brother of the Shawnee Bear Clan. Tell him soon he will rest. Soon he will be home. That I, running fox, will give back the strength that was stolen from him. Give back the power to his bones. It is time now. Let us begin. <laughs> Tawala, I give you back your spirit. Like two riled up grizzlies, huh? <laughs> You ain't no bears. You're chicken stealers. Dogs. Rabbits. Ha <laughs> ha. Come on. 
Even with one good arm, I can still bust you. He is gone. Glad to see who man showing these back. Well, what do you know? Right into our laps. I'm telling you, this don't is... move. I just soon put a bullet in you a spit. You're wanted for a killing. What's the matter with you, man? I'm telling you, Israel's back there. What about that boy? Where is Israel? Well, he's back there in the woods. You abandoned him? You left him in the woods? So you finished Stubbs, and now the boy, too? Well, hanging's too good for you. What's the matter with you, man? I gotta get back to that boy. Stay where you are. I ought to pull this trigger. That's what I ought to do. I ought to pull this trigger. <laughs> right, Israel. We come after you not only because you killed Stubbs, but because you kidnapped that boy, too. Kidnapped? You heard, Tupper. I didn't do no kidnapping. I saved that boy's life. I guess that's why he ain't with you now. I told you. He's back there in them woods. Show us. And he better be there, alive and well, because if he ain't, we'll finish you off right out here. All right, now move. Move! to find a tree and climb up it. You told us that you had a fight with this running fox. 
Yeah, that's right. Right over here. Just like them, you left him lying in the cold mackerel, and then you ran. Sure. But that was to draw off them Shawnees. I was going to double back and pick up Israel, but they kept pushing me ahead. And the boy was left here alone with that running fox, a full-grown, murdering Shawnee. Topper. This your pouch? Yeah, why? Stubbs money, ain't it? Sure. Fifty dollars. He owed it to me. Stubbs money, ain't it? Yes, it's Stubbs money, but I didn't kill him. Didn't you now? Well, between this letter and that gold, if that ain't proof enough, I don't know what is. Yeah, sure, I was there. But I only took what was mine. I didn't kill Stubbs. I think you're a liar. You killed Stubbs. I think Israel's dead, too, and I think you're responsible. Man, this is crazy. Dead? The rope. What are you going to do? A tree with a big, strong branch. Find one. You ain't going to hang me, mister. You ain't going to hang me! You ain't going to string me up like no dog, like no piece of meat! I'll fight you! I'll fight you one at a time! I... That! Bullet or a rope, it makes no difference to me. Let's go. You're sure a sight for these old eyes. At least the boy's safe. Better get him out of here while we take care of him. Let me go, let me go. Israel, stay out of this. He killed Stubbs. He didn't kill Mr. Stubbs. Running Fox is Shawnee. He did. Look. Running Fox had it. I took it from him. He killed Mr. Stubbs. When you ran away, Zach, I climbed down the tree and I took it from him. He started to wake up, so I ran in the woods, and I hid in some brush. I knew you'd come back for me, Zach. I knew it. That's right, boy. That's right. But not this way. Not this way, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, my little grizzly cub. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I done was to take the gold that was mine and ask Israel here to write me a letter. <laughs> you mean all this happened after I went to Salem? That's a fact. The boy's a wonder, Daniel. He's more than that. He's a real rough, tough, greasy man. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Desmond. He makes us proud. Here, here, here. Folks, I got a request to make. Israel, I done learned you about all the mysteries of grizzly bear, right? Now it's your turn to learn me something. You gotta learn me the mysteries of reading and writing. This time, the cub is going to teach the old bear something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now, son, I've got a request. All those things you did to help and all that Zach taught you, there's one thing you mustn't forget. What's that, Pa? Well, you're not a cub, you're not a bear, you're not an animal. And all the things you did to help Zach were just showing the very best part of being a real man. 